You know, they're orange, you push them up, they melt it all over your hands, they're delicious. Plants don't pop. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today we're going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing, which it's... Has it been a while? I feel like it's been a while. But we are gonna be changing it up a little bit, just spicing it up a tiny touch. Um, I've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube before where they compare something that they have purchased themselves versus something that was sent to them in PR. And that's what we're gonna do today with my box charms. I have seen a lot of comments before saying like, oh, they send the influencers, which is just like the most word. There's just something about that word that has a terrible ring to it. Um, but they send, you know, people on like YouTube and Instagram, but stuff in their boxes than they do like everybody else. But across the board on this channel, with the exception of FabFitFun, which is very nicely sent to me and one of these BoxyCharm boxes, I buy all of my subscription boxes myself. I don't get any ipsies through PR. I don't get like anything else through PR. I purchase everything on my own. And if I do get like a random like one-off subscription every now and then from PR that just randomly shows up to like my residence or my PO box, um, then I tell you guys that like in the video. And from my knowledge, unless they're doing some serious detective work because I use like a different address and a different name then they don't know it's me that they're sending the stuff to you know what I mean so I should be getting the same stuff that everybody else should be getting and I really hope there are like no differences between these boxes or other bags and boxes out there because that's not good that's not nice <laughs> to send like nicer stuff to certain people than you do others not cool not cool I will say really quickly taking a glance at my two boxes that I have here there are some differences right off the bat. So this is the box that I pay for myself. This is the $25 base box. And this is the base box that was sent to me by BoxyCharm. And it's just like a little bit bigger. Um, That could just be like a regular occurrence, something that happened. Maybe there's like a larger product in this one. But just like so far visually, there is a little bit of a difference. When I typically do my BoxyCharm unboxings, I'm unboxing the box that I purchased for myself. I also buy a premium box and a luxe box. So like I'm buying all these things for myself and then they'll send me like extras. That's one of the reasons there's so many in that closet over there right now. It's almost disturbing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start with the box that I purchased for myself. We'll open this one up first and then we'll open the PR version and see if we're just like blown away by any stark differences. Like I said, I really hope not because that would be not fun. Not nice. Of course, now I have to go get a knife. You clean a room, you take the mini knives out of it, now you have to go walk to the kitchen and get one. I should have just left them scattered about. And while I'm away, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Harry's. I love how soft my skin feels after a good shave, but I absolutely hate buying razors. They are so expensive, they get dull so quickly, and I end up like chopping up my legs because I'm trying to shave. Well, now you can take better care of yourself in the new year with Harry's. Harry's is a personal care brand that has reinvented the way you shave, helping you shave in a premium, hassle-free way. Start this year off right and help Harry's support great causes as they give 1% of their sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care for men in need. I personally am loving my Harry's razor. You can feel the quality and the weighted handle and the textured grip and the flex hinge make it super easy and comfortable to use. I also really like the foaming shave gel which has natural ingredients in it such as cucumber and aloe vera which make it fantastic for my super sensitive skin. And also it is super easy to have razor refills just show up at your door every few weeks. Also Harry's has just released their sharpest blades ever and they are still at the same low price of only $2 each. And right now you can get this trial set for only $3, which for a high quality shaving kit is really a steal. Reading your trial set for just $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Alexandria. Thank you so very much to Harry's for helping to support the channel. Got one. The theme for this month is Fresh Start and they have all the products and prices listed on the back. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. The first thing I'm seeing in here is from Pharmacy. This is the Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. And this has Moringa and Papaya in it. I, I know what Papaya is, but Moringa, that's a different story. Oh, interesting. It says this is made exclusively for BoxyCharm, so that's different. It's supposed to be paraben free, formaldehyde free, <laughs> synthetic fragrance free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, and cruelty free. It took me five minutes to learn how to say phthalate, and I'm still not sure if I'm right. Please open. Please, I beg of you. Oh, this looks really pretty, actually. I like that green color, so it comes in a really nice jar. I'm gonna assume this is a full size. It looks like it, and if not, it's a very nice size. <gasps> oh, I thought the glass was green, but the glass isn't green. The stuff is actually green. That makes me even more excited. Oh, it smells 
fine. <laughs> it smells a little bit herbally. There's a bit of like a fruit hit to it as well. Okay, so a nice little interesting skincare item first. All right, next up here, we have something from Dr. Brandt, which I really like Dr. Brandt. I use their microdermabrasion like on my face for a long time. It's really good and scrubby. The next thing we have in here is the Dr. Brandt Do Not Age. All clever DNA, do not age. Very sneaky there, Dr. Brandt. Um, triple peptide eye cream. I've been really getting into eye creams recently. I told you guys I was gonna try out that gold fat and stuff that I received in an advent calendar and the Ipsy unboxing that I just did. I put it on and like my my under eye circles were gone. Like instantly. <laughs> what kind of magic? I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what happened. I just hope that it continues to work that well <laughs> because it's really nice. Also very expensive. So I don't know, maybe this will be good. This is a very nice size for eye cream. It is 0.5 fluid ounces, which for eye cream, that's pretty good since you really don't need much of it. Oh, score. <laughs> this one also says that it is good for dark circles, but also for wrinkles, puffiness, and yeah, those things. Um, But if it works nearly as good as that gold pattern one with hopefully not costing as much, then we might have a winner here. Next, uh, we have, oh, be friendly. That's cute. Oh, be friendly. I wonder if it's also like be friendly. So it's be friendly, but also like be friendly because it probably doesn't have any like bee wax in it beeswax in it. It comes in a little squeezy tube like this, which isn't exactly my favorite for lip balms because I always like gush out, um, but it does say that you're supposed to kind of like rub it around before you use it if you're in cold weather. I'm really smelling the coconut. I wish I could smell the orange a little bit more, but let's try it on the lips. I was already wearing just like a gloss on my lips, but um, that feels really good, really nice and smooth. It tastes like a creamsicle. Flintstone pop. You all remember those from like, you know, childhood? You know, they're orange, you push them up, they melted all over your hands, they're delicious. Mmm, tasty. Okay, next up in here, we have something from person, persona, persona. <laughs> I like the packaging of this. I really like that kind of like muted pink. It does feel like very lightweight. It says this is for blush and this is for highlight. My blush brushes are typically a little bit larger and fluffier and I don't really use a brush for highlight. So I'll probably pass this along someday else, but it is pretty cute. And then finally, last but not least, we do have an eyeshadow palette in here. So this is the Ciate London, the velvet palette. So just from the packaging, I'm gonna assume there's gonna be like lots of mauves and pinks and hopefully they'll be like super nice felt they soft mattes. Ooh, I like the outer packaging of this. It's that nice mauve color, but it feels kind of like velvety and silicone-y. Okay, not exactly what I was expecting. I was thinking more a little bit along the lines of like the modern Renaissance palette, but this is interesting as well. It has a lot of really like warm tones to it. I like the little like swoopies and the eyeshadow, that's kind of fun. And it does look like we have some shimmers and mattes. So this is an interesting palette. Ooh, however, just touching some of these mattes, they do feel super velvety on the fingers and they seem to swatch pretty well too, decently pigmented. So this would be pretty nice. Did I say multiple times in that first unboxing? Like this might be even full size. Um, I think everything's supposed to be full size. So let's just, <laughs> let's just go ahead and read some prices of all of these full size items. So the first thing we have is the Ciate London Velvet Eyeshadow Palette, which is $30. Then we have the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer, which is $38. The Persona Cosmetics Powder Brush, which is $24. That seems a little bit pricey for me. The Dr. Brandt Don't Age with Dr. Brandt Triple Peptide Eye Cream, which is $82. Still somehow cheaper than that gold fat and stuff. And then the Bali Balm is $33. That's a lot of money for lip balm. I don't know about that. Like, it smells and tastes like push pops, so that's a plus, but $33 <laughs> is a whole lot. One of these days, if I ever come across the long lost ice cream calculator, I promise I will bring it back. But for right now, Siri's gonna do some math for me. All right, so the total retail value of our first box, which is the paid for box, which I paid for myself, is $207. And I think that's pretty good for a $25 box. Now, let's move along to the PR box, which I just poked a little hole in. And we'll see if there's any like huge stark differences in either quality or like value of the box. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm seeing is again the Pharmacy Daily Greens Cleanser. I'm kind of wondering if just everybody got this in their box this month because it is made like exclusively for BoxyCharm. Next, we're moving on to something from Seraphine Botanicals, which I have tried some stuff from them before. This is the Apple and Boom uh, <laughs> Glow Lip Mask. I like the packaging of Seraphine Botanicals. It's always, I don't know, just something cute about it. I like it. It's very natural. And those look kind of like tomatoes though. This time, I'm actually going to wear for something else on. 
very liquidy. Oh, maybe that was just some oil coming out of it. My bad. I think it's leaking a little bit. It's a nice feeling balm, really smooth. It doesn't really taste that fantastic, but um, you know, it's it's nice. All right, the next thing we have in here is from Avant, which apparently is a very expensive brand, which I've learned from my advent calendar unboxings. This is the Biphase Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Micellar Water. And recently I have been seeing hyaluronic acid in literally everything, but apparently it's super fantastic for your skin and for like moisturizing. I'm very interested in seeing how much this is gonna cost. Okay, the next thing we have in here is from Trust Bud Beauty. This is a lip gasm. Lip gloss, I got mine in the shade Unprofessional. That's like the bio of this channel, just. That's it. I don't know how well a knife would like gently open a box like this. I've been ripping boxes for years. Oh, my my. <laughs> um, that is an incredibly pink lip gloss. This wouldn't necessarily be a lip gloss that I would gravitate towards. It's just a little bit too in your face. It's just a little bit too bright for me. So in the spirit of trying to not be as wasteful, I don't think I'm gonna swatch this or try it on so I can just go ahead and give it to somebody else. The last thing we have in here, I'm pretty excited about. This is from Violet Voss and this is the all of you forever palette. I'm hoping there are gonna be some like super cool greens in here. If not, that would be very false advertisement from the outer packaging and the name, but um, who knows? Okay. <laughs> Not as olive as I was hoping or expecting, but we do have a couple of like little olivey shades in there. So we have like a nice shimmery olive green down here and a little bit more of like a bluish green up in the corner. The rest of them though are fairly like warm, neutrally mattes. I mean, these are really pretty shades and they're not typically gravitate towards, but I was kind of hoping that this would be like a very green heavy palette with maybe some like yellows and like one red to be a pimento. Okay guys, so after opening the second box, I really don't see many differences at all between my purchase and my PR box. They both came with the same moisturizer, a palette, some lip stuff, and like one probably expensive item. We still don't know how much this costs. Let's remedy that right now though by looking at some prices. So the first thing we have is the Violet Boss palette, which is $34. As I said, oilier. As we said oilier. Earlier, the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer is $38. <laughs> That's what I thought, okay. <laughs> the Avant skincare by face hyaluronic acid rejuvenating micellar water which is a mouthful to say is $90 90 for some blue water then we have the Seraphine Cosmetics Apple Balm, which is $25. And the Trust Fun Beauty Lip Glass and Lip Glass is $18. So I think we're gonna have probably like a similar price point between these boxes as well. Uh, so it looks like the total value for this box is actually $2 less than the box that I paid for. It is $205 altogether. And really, truly, and honestly, I'm just, I'm not seeing too many differences between either of these boxes. I think the PR one versus the paid for one, they're incredibly similar. So I hope boxes are typically like that and we aren't seeing some like major different like values and quality items between the two boxes because there shouldn't be there should be literally no difference there should be no standard for one versus the other what you're being advertised by people such as I <laughs> who unbox things like this should be the same types of items everybody is getting in their box and if there are differences between different companies um, you all need to fix that <laughs> because that's not good and everybody should be getting an equal experience across the board. All right, you guys, that is everything that I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. We do currently have a giveaway still going on in this channel for the 400,000 subscriber mark, which is absolutely ridiculous and insane, but that will be linked down below if you guys would like to enter. And other than that, I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!